All right, so next we're going to have a look at how to record um, expenses to the GL. So let's assume that we have received an invoice from, from an advertising agency and we need to record this cost. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new GL account that we can uh, book this cost into. So it needs to be in our cost section. So we're going to click new and make a new GL account and let's give it uh, the number 4040 like that and then call it advertising like this. It's going to be an income statement account and we need to be able to post to it. And then we need to have another look at these, um, these, um, this posting tab because when we, when we book directly to the GL we need to set up a, a few of these things. So firstly we need to specify that this is a purchase account. Next we, um, we actually we don't need to indicate anything in the general business posting group because this when we raise a purchase order this general business posting group will come from our vendor. So we'll leave that blank. But we do need to specify a general product posting group. So let's select one of those. Right now we only have a books um, general product posting group and that doesn't really make any sense when it comes to uh, neither expenses or advertising. So we'll, we'll create a new one. And we'll call this one uh, EXP for expenses. Like this. So we can add it. And the next the next thing we need to have a look at is the VAT. So the VAT business posting group will also come from our vendor when we raise the purchase order or the purchase invoice. But we do need to specify a VAT product posting group. So right now we have uh, only normal and um, it just so happens that usually uh, advertising cost is, uh, is vatted normally. So we'll just choose the normal. So that does it for the for setting up the the, the 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 GL account. So we'll click OK, and then we can go and we can go to our purchase invoices here, and we can raise a new purchase invoice. So we click New. We have to give this a manual number because we don't have the number series set up for the purchase invoices. So we'll do like this. And we'll specify our vendor here. Next on the lines, um, in, in my video setting up a company from scratch or setting up a new company, um, we would use the one called item in this drop down. But for registering expenses, we need to select the GL, uh, GL account here. And the difference, uh, uh, when you choose the GL account over here, then when you look up in the number, you will not see a list of your items, but you will see a list of your, well, you will, will see your chart of accounts. So if you click down here, and we go downwards, we'll see our advertising, um, our advertising account here. So we'll select that one. And then we do have to specify a quantity, although we are not buying items, but we also always have to spe specify a quantity. And uh, for recording expenses, the quantity would typically be C uh, B1. Let's say our advertising cost us uh, 345 pounds or dollars or whatever. Um, and so we input the line like this. We can also just have a look at the statistics to verify that some VAT has been calculated. We want 20% VAT calculated and uh, this looks fine. So we'll try to post this. And we just need to indicate an invo uh, vendor invoice number. Just anything will do. And we'll try to post it again. So, what it says here is that the general posting setup does not exist. Identification fields, domestic and expenses. So we have to go to the general posting setup and set it up. We'll just, I'll just see if I can take a snippet of this one so we have it in case we need it. There we go. So we'll say okay and then we'll go to the general 
post setup. This might be a slightly bit confusing and may, may not make a lot of sense to you, but um, this is what we have to do to make nav work. So we'll create a new one and we needed to set up one which was a combination of domestic and expenses here. So that's what the error message says. I cannot find this line. So we click OK. Now the line is there. We still haven't indicated any, um, any um, accounts, any neither sales or purchase accounts. So let's, let's just go and try to post that invoice again and see if we get past the initial error message. So we'll click post and we'll say yes. And we did actually get past the, the, the initial error message. So what you know, might, might wonder is why did we have to set up this why did we have to set up this line when we were not required to specify any accounts? Well, your guess is as good as mine, but uh, the, short, the short answer is that we do, it, it does need to uh, be able to find this line. So, but we didn't have to specify any accounts. So we can go and have a quick look at the, the posted purchase invoice. Posted purchase invoices. And it was this one, 003. And if we navigate it, we will see that we have now registered, well, we have three GL entries and we have registered uh, an expense to our cost account, this one. We have um, indicated also that we owe our vendor 414 and that when we pay that we can reclaim uh, 69 of those, uh, of those 414. Of course we can also navigate to our vendor ledger entry here and we can see our posted, oops sorry, and we can see our posted, our posted uh, purchase invoice, which is actually the one we came from.